Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Diana Ross and the Temptation. Oh, baby, I'm going to make you love me. We ain't really got to make nobody love us. It's not about that. It's just holy, but goody. A man talking to her woman. I mean, his woman. Men got to learn how to talk to their women. Women got to learn how to be wives and girls to their men. Gotta do something to make me love you. Sometimes they play the game and the game is played on them. But anyway, we want to talk about uh, empath, okay? So empaths are the topic for today. And um, empaths are people that feel. And sometimes if they're not aware of their feelings, um, they may go in to relationships, work relationships. We just want to look at relationships across the board, not just idealize it um, as one position. They'll go into relationships with everything that they have, um, especially when they have discovered love within themselves and they begin to work on themselves. They don't realize that um, the world is full of takers uh, because they've experienced um, the happiness or the love of giving. So when we have people that are selfish, and we know about selfishness because we've been that um, prideful, striving, envious, or greedy, manipulative, or um, controlling, I feel that the empath must be aware of this, not in a defensive way, but in a way where they know that they have to protect themselves, but also be that love and giving person that they are. This is a part that a lot of us don't know when we feel, you know, if you have Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer in your chart, sun, rising, um, or moon, you're going to feel these are major empathic uh, signs. Um, so you want to develop your emotional stability. Um, people that are emotionally unintelligent will be able to uh, really hurt you if you don't develop emotional intelligence where you're able to see people for who they are. Um, one of the things that I remember a story was um, a young lady told me she was in a relationship and um, she was given and given until she was exhausted for many years into a relationship. And um, when she came out of it, she realized, even though she was an empath, what was happening. And what it was that she realized is that she had learned something about people and, um, you know, individuals that she was involved with. Um, she had learned that there was traits of narcissism. And the reason why she learned is because she exhausted everything into the individual. And the individual did not know this about themselves, but she learned in the end. Now, what do you do when you learn that you're in a relationship with the narcissist and you are someone that is a giver? You are, uh, or you live by giving. It's, it's not that you need to do it. It's just that that's one of your gifts, you know? So what do you do? What you do is learn from the lesson. You don't allow yourself to be scarred or um, categorized as a victim. You, you learn the lesson. I think that most people in the world don't look at everyday life as a lesson, and that's where the problem comes. Um, so if you get into a relationship with someone and you feel like you're being used, it's not that you're being used. Maybe you were actually there to, so maybe you were there to give the individual something that 
spirit may not have uh, seen that they had. And you actually came in as a vessel, um, not necessarily being used, but being used to show that person something. I don't believe that users or even narcissists uh, can't change. I think that a spiritual encounter can change any of us. Therefore, the possibilities of um, going into a relationship with someone that is a user and a taker could be predicated on you and I knowing who we're involved with. If you don't know who you're involved with, then there's a lesson. And most people think because they are spiritually adept or discerning that they they're in like Flynn. They don't understand that they're still learning. People that use are like masters. I look like they're masters at doing what they do. Let me say that. I look at, you know, some of the populations of homelessness and, you know, I like to help them myself. But even when I'm out there and I'm helping, I'm aware that they have went through some things and so they got game. And so, um, when you go into a relationship, you know, it's like you got to change your mind about how you see uh, life being a little white picket fence, get that balance and know that everything has its highs and lows. You know, we come from different families and backgrounds. That means that trauma could have been different. We don't know what these people have went through that we get involved with, even if we meet their families. Uh, later on in life, you may find out that there was some abuse or uh, that someone wasn't molested in their relationship. And this gives you an idea of why they check out and they're just in a relationship, but they won't give of themselves emotionally. So when I talk to the empath, what I'm saying is, is that you definitely have to cover yourself um, emotionally because you take on feelings of people. But when you're directly in a relationship, um, it anybody that has a void in them will draw from you. Uh, if it's an emptiness in a person, they're going to draw from you. You can't stop it. But what you can do is be aware of what's going on with people that you get involved with. All right. And the lesson for the young lady that I was speaking of, what she was able to do is understand the behaviors of a narcissistic person, which is a wealth of knowledge. I mean, instead of thinking that you're a victim because maybe uh, they seem to have taken something where you didn't get what you wanted out of the relationship, maybe long lasting, look at it as you got lesson out of it. Now you are fortified with more information when you go into the next relationship, work relationship, whatever type of relationship it is, because get this, we are relationship people, a world of relationships. No one is smarter than the other unless we allow them to believe that, honestly. Uh, if you don't know, uh, then you are going to learn and you will no longer be ignorant to the vices of others, right? So when you come out of a hard situation, what did you learn from them? Because here we are again, mirrors. Now, I want to stay on the empath, but I want the empaths to know that we had some of the same problems. I think that people don't realize that when you look up just the natural trait of narcissists, what happens is, is that you have pride, which number one is what narcissists had. Now, we do have the disorder going across, you know, and the mental health, I believe that it can get worse if a narcissist does not realize that they're doing uh, damage to some people. But I do believe that if the empath who draws narcissistic behavior types of individuals realizes that they don't have to be a victim, they can actually be in control of the situation while they're in it and learn from these people and also teach these people that there can be a change. I hear a lot of people saying how dangerous they are um, to be aware. I think that you need to be aware and realize the danger when you categorize yourself as a victim, when you feel weak to them. That's why I pointed out Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. 
This is not defensiveness. This is awareness and healing and also strength for yourself. But as an empath, whatever you do in life, you should be praying, meditating, and standing in a position where you're strengthening your inner man because an empath can't do the work that they are called to do uh, properly without inner strength. All right. So if you want to set up any sessions, uh, go to uh, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. We also have a uh, class coming up on the 22nd at 1.30 uh, p.m. Pacific, and it's going to be on the shadow side. Uh, this is a part that will help you with drawing narcissists or users or people that are, are abusive. Why are you in that relationship? So ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Uh, the class is $30. You can sign up now. Get more information to help you in these changing times. And one of the things I want to say that, you know, look at America. Look at America. And then tell me that you don't need to learn more about behaviors. With where we are right now, we can make a difference, but we have to strengthen each other and give knowledge to one another, okay? So narcissists are out there everywhere. Uh, pride is a part of narcissists. That means that anybody that you meet that's not practicing spirituality could be that. You also have religious uh, narcissists. So have a wonderful day. Email me if you have any questions. Share, like, and subscribe. Blessings.